Okay, today's video we're going to do a real quick review of valence electrons. If you want a more detailed uh, description of valence electrons, check out my, my full video, which is about 15 minutes long, it explains them uh, with a lot more detail. Okay, valence electrons, first off, what are they? Valence electrons are the electrons that you found uh, in the outermost shell of an atom. Electrons found in the outermost shell of an atom. Okay, let's take a look at an example here. Okay, here we have uh, an atom. This is the nucleus. In the nucleus we have the neutrons and the protons. Right, and on the outside is where we have the electrons. So let's say we're looking at an atom of beryllium. So let's say this was beryllium. Well, let's check out what a periodic table tells us about beryllium. Beryllium is right here. Okay, it has an atomic number of four. So we know that it has four protons. If it has four protons, we can also assume that it's neutral, know that it will have four electrons. Okay, so if we're going to put electrons into this model, we would start in the inside. There'd be one, two, three, Four. Okay, so what are the valence electrons in this diagram? Or are there any electrons at all in this third energy level? There's no electrons there at all, so we don't have any valence electrons out here. We're talking about the outermost shell that has electrons. This shell right here, does it have electrons? Yes, it does. It has two. So there are two valence electrons. Okay, here and here. It's important to note that beryllium is in the second group, which has two valence electrons. Not only does beryllium have two valence electrons, but everything else in this up and down group or family, okay, we call these groups or families, everything in that group also has two valence electrons. Everything in this group has one valence electron. We don't worry about the transition elements right now. Everything in this group has three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For an atom to be stable, it needs to have eight electrons in its outermost shell, unless we're talking about the first valence shell, which would be filled with just two. All right, let's just double check and make sure that that makes sense. The first valence shell would be full if it had two electrons. You can notice that in the periodic table. There's only two in the first period, side to side, we call those periods. There's only two elements in the first period. There are two valence shells, two uh, uh, valence electrons in the first energy shell. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight elements in the second period. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the second shell. There are also one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in the third period. And there are eight in the third shell. Now it does get a little bit more complicated uh, after this. We talked about filling uh, electron shells in different orders, but that's something that we're not going to be concerned with um, in our eighth grade curriculum. So if they're trying to get to eight, what if I had fluorine here? Okay, fluorine, if we go back and check, is right here. It has nine protons. Nine protons. If it has nine protons, it has nine electrons. Okay, now let's go back and look. We should be able to make an estimate. We should say it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven valence electrons. Let's confirm that that's the case. Starting from the inside, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How many valence electrons does fluorine have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Does that match what we figured out over here? It does. Fluorine has seven. 
Would fluorine be stable with just seven valence electrons? It would not. It would like to have eight. So it's going to try to acquire one more valence electron. So what group or family would fluorine likely bond with? If it's seven and it wants to get with eight, anything in seven would bond with anything in one. Anything in two would bond with any element in six. Any element in three would bond with five, and fours would bond with themselves. Eight would not bond with anything at all. Eight are known as the noble gases, because they simply don't want to react. They have all the electrons in their outermost shell that they would need. Name one element that has similar properties to boron. Okay, so we're looking for an element that would react with the same types of things. So if boron has three in its outermost shell, it's going to react with anything in five. Well, gallium also has three in its outermost shell and will also react with anything in five. So will aluminum. So we're often going to say that elements in the same group or family have similar properties. Elements in the same group or family have similar properties. Elements that add up to 8 with their valence electrons, 1 and 7, 2 and 6, 3 and 5, 4 and 4, are likely to react together.